man, I got told that it was right off the pier. It would be, you know, a good place to stay. Nope, just a normal trucking yard. Somebody commented and said, oh, there should be a mattress topper that fits. I found it. But nope, normal, regular trucking yard with, surprise, surprise, porta potties. From the look of the map, I think I have a treat for you guys. Number one, I am in San Francisco. It has been a while since I've been here. Like, two years maybe? Crazy. Continue on I-80. And getting, gets over anyway. It was going to cut me off. I'm not rerouting. I'm in the city. So, going across I-80, high winds on bridge, reduced speed. Where's the wind coming from? That way. So, San Francisco. Uh, I think the last time I came to San Francisco, did I, I can't remember. I must have, I think I bought my first trailer. And I picked up uh, an electric forklift, I think. Was that here? Yeah, I had picked it up down in LA and I brought it up here to San Francisco. And uh, yeah, and I'm going faster than I need to be. And I brought it up here to San Francisco and I delivered somewhere in the city. Um, outside of that, the last time I was here, I was still at Prime, so I've been at Landstar almost three years now, so I've only been here twice. So this would be my third time, and where I'm delivering to, set it at the bridge speed. Where I'm delivering to is, uh, I'm delivering to a trade show, so I have a trade show load for some, with some, uh, I can't think of the name of the trade show off the top of my head. Um, but I know it's got something to do with medical equipment because that's what I have. It's like 2,000 pounds, you know, from Vegas out here to San Francisco. Great load. Great load. You know, for what it was paying, it was a great load. You know, for what I needed the load to do. Because uh, I have another load to pick up. What's today? Today's Wednesday. I deliver Thursday morning. And then I got to go pick up some slot machines. Uh, up, up over Donner's Pass. I'm hoping for Donner's? No, Dead Man's. It's Dead Man's Pass. So I'm hoping the weather will cooperate, unlike this whole trip. Okay, it's going that way this time. This whole trip, the weather has not cooperated whatsoever. It's still not going to reroute at all. Like today was probably the nicest. I only had to drive for 200 miles. And right when I came into San Francisco is how the weather looks now, you know, right at sunset for the most part. So, and that's, that's the best that it's been uh, since I left Vegas. It was rainy in Vegas, even coming out of Vegas, getting into California. It was high winds coming up that hill past the, uh, is that 14? All right, we'll call it 14. I'll say it's safe to be here. Um, coming up past the way station, past the uh, California way station, going up the hill, as soon as you get to the top of the hill, slush, slurry, snow, all kind of stuff, high winds all the way through. Um, there was flood warnings and, and all kind of stuff. I actually hit a really big, really big patch of, uh, of flooded area 
right in uh, Bakersfield. I think I was in Bakersfield. And on the highway, you know, it, it's not a lot of lighting out there, even though we were already in Bakersfield. There wasn't a lot of light. And there was a truck maybe... I don't know. No, it wasn't a truck. I think it was a car. It was a car up, like up far enough where I could see his tail lights. It, it was like way ahead of me. So I remember seeing the tail lights and it was flat land. And then I saw the tail the tail lights disappear. And and it's dark, but it was like just a crack of like skyline light. And I just saw it what it looked like to me someone with a diesel truck or not a semi truck like like a f1 f350 or something like that like mashed on the gas pedal and you know how they get that big plume of black smoke that comes up that's literally what it looked like and i knew that that car did not do that so i saw his taillights go away and i saw what looked like a big plume of smoke come up and in my mind I knew immediately it was not smoke, but in fact, it was standing water. So he was far enough ahead of me that I could react in time. But because it was rain, because it was cold and not a lot of light and I had cars on both sides of me. No, I had, yeah, I had cars on both sides of me because that right lane was an exit only lane. So I got on the brakes as quick as I could, you know, to hopefully I don't know what those cars are gonna do. I knew I needed to be in a position away from those cars to where when I hit that water, those cars were not gonna get splashed with water, number one, lose control and then turn into me. And then two, I wanna make sure with that standing water that I could maintain full control over my truck. So I got on the brakes as quick as I could. I was, you know, thankfully it's California, speed limit's 55 anyway. So by the time I got to that water, I maybe had a truck length and a half, maybe two truck lengths to brake as efficiently as I could to slow down. I probably hit that water maybe 25, 28 miles an hour, which is still to me entirely too fast. Um, I hit that water. By the time my headlights hit the water, I noticed there's something white in the road right in front of me and there's nothing I could do. So I hit that water and then I hit that white thing. It, at the time, I had no idea what that white thing was. So I hit it because I had no other choice. And, you know, once that water, if I could describe it, you know, I'm not relatively tall, but I'm not relatively short either. I'm about 5'11", six foot even. And if I could take a, a very educated guess, that water was probably either halfway up my shin to a little bit more than that. That's how like tall that water was sitting. So by the time I hit, you know, that white thing and basically flooded my truck, the bottom of my truck went through it. You know, the bottom of my trailer, you know, there's boxes, not a really big deal. But my lift gate had to go through that water. And that was a huge concern of mine afterwards, obviously. So anyway, I hit that water and like I said, I was going 25 maybe. You know, I already had my four ways on. I'm flashing my uh, my clearance lights on, on the both sides of my trailer. So, you know, for whatever reason, people don't realize four ways means something's wrong or slow down. I hit that water. I probably went from 25 to 13. And it was just, like I said, it looked like a black plume of smoke. But it's like when I hit that water, I could see the water hit my steer tires and basically come up to over my windows on both, both sides of my truck. And when I tell you, it scared me so bad. And even though I felt like it was okay, after I got through the water, I then remembered, like instantly got out of the water. I'm like, ah, I probably need to pull over and check see if I have any damages. Cause I hit that white thing and I wasn't sure what it was. But I, I did hear like a little click, click, I, I'll, I'll call it a click. Oh no, is this exit only? Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. Um, so I hit that thing. Are you gonna let me over? Oh my God. 
you are so nice to me. Man, that guy definitely looked out for me. Um, where was I? Yeah, so I hit that thing of water, came out the other side, literally milliseconds. I was like, oh yeah, I should probably check and make sure uh, there's no damages. So I start edging to uh, make sure the right lane was clear, which it was. Started edging to the right lane. As soon as I lightly tap the accelerator, bunch of smoke comes up out of my truck. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I get onto the shoulder and the car that had passed me or the car that was ahead of me he also pulled off onto the shoulder when um when he saw me pull over so i was like you know i didn't think about it, anything about it at the time but i'm sure some of you guys who are probably a little bit quicker on the uptake than i was at the time that i was panicking because of the water and there was something white in the road and there's a white car so we'll get to that obviously in just a second but so I get on the shoulder, I turn the truck off because obviously if truck's smoking, I don't want to cause any more damages. If, you know, it hit my oil pan and I'm losing oil or, you know, it hit, it hit something. You know what I mean? You know, my water fuel separator filter came off. Anything, literally anything. It could have been anything with that much water. So I shut the truck off, pop my hood, you know, again, it's raining. So I throw my jacket on. Um, Throw my jacket on forward, make sure my four ways on, make sure my uh, my mark, you know, all my park lights are on and everything. Take my grab my flashlight, you know. By the time I do all this and open my door to hop out and look back, you see everyone hitting that same patch of water that I just did, and it's to put it lightly pure chaos it's just straight up chaos and i'm like i can't really worry about them there's nothing i can really do for them anyway you know i number one i was on the side of the road myself nothing i could do uh so you know i was like well they're obviously they're on their break so they can figure it out from there so i started doing my checks you know i was like checking where the smoke's coming from i popped the hood i'm lo looking around for any damages that I may have, excuse me, you know, I get as low as I could without getting my clothes wet, so I didn't want to, you know, start crawling under the truck if I didn't need to, so I'm looking through the engine bay, I'm looking at my wheel wells, I'm looking through everything, while I'm doing this, the white car backs up to me, and I wasn't really sure how to think of it, so I'm, you know, I'm kind of on guard, but I'm like, well, obviously he hit the same thing that I did, so he's probably coming to make sure I'm okay. Which I was correct. He hopped out, he's like, hey man, are you all right? And I was like, yeah, you know, I, I think I saw you hit the water and it made me get on the brakes, you know, to explain what just happened to me, basically. You know, it made me get on the brakes and slow down, but I, I hit something in the road. <laughs> and funny enough, he was like, was it white? And I was like, yeah, it was actually. And then I looked at his car, because in my mind, white car the driver asked if i hit something white and i'm like uh it was something of yours wasn't it he was like yeah i hit that water and my front bumper came off i was like that's what i hit but uh he was like yeah are you okay you need anything you know you need insurance information you know you know obviously it came out my car if it's any damages you need anything and i was like i think i'm okay i'm going i'm looking through my truck right now um because by that time i realized all the smoke that was coming off was from me using my brakes and then basically they my brakes getting flash cooled hitting 30 degree water so i realized that all the smoke is basically just steam coming off you know my brakes my steer brakes and, and my drive brakes so i was like oh okay you know so i'm looking through but the guy was extremely helpful he was like yeah i probably shouldn't go back and get that that bumper and we both looked down at the, again, the chaos that's going down. I'm like, I don't think that's a good idea, buddy. But he was like, man, if you need, you know, if you got any damages, let me know. You know, I, I'll give you my information. I, and I was like, give me like 15 seconds. I was just about done. So I looked through. I had no damages. Even when I hit the bumper, I was expecting like a little scratch on the front of my, uh, 
I can't remember. I think it's a debris guard or something. It's a little black lip that's on the bottom of Volvo's. Um, I, I'm sure that it protects the oil pan, which I'm sure is what protected me. But even that, no scratches, no anything. I was like, no, I'm all good. I have no damages. Looks like the truck's gonna run fine. I, I'm good. He's like, okay. You know, I, I appreciate it. I was like, no, I appreciate you for stopping. You know, normally something happens, people just leave. You know, so we chatted for about that. We chatted about that for about a minute or two. And then it kicked in on like, it's raining. I'm on the side of the road. And it's dark. And I was like, we should probably get out of here because if we pulled over, I'm pretty sure other people are gonna pull over. And literally as soon as I said that, another truck pulled over in front of the white car couple cars pull over it was an exit ramp plea were pulling off and I was like yeah we need to get off the shoulder because obviously it's not safe for us to be standing here talking you know and so he's like okay you know I, I'll uh, I'll get out in front and make sure it's safe for you to come out I was like no just creep forward a little bit it's a lot people can see me I barely saw you and he was like yeah that's a good point so I was able to ease out into the highway with no traffic coming you know flashed him over so he could get on uh, man, I'm just going to let these people on because I can't get over. Um, you know, which is everything, like I said, everything was all cool. But man, when it, I didn't expect it to rain that much here in California for it to flood. You know, that was, that was in, that was a lot. Like I'm trying to flash people over by while still moving with traffic. <laughs> All right, cool. Everybody, let's figure it out. So we got that. Scene. Like I said, the weather was just bad. So like after, even after I left from there, it was still raining. You know, I was able to drive. I mean, I got out of Bakersfield. My my goal was to just get to I-5 so I could stop for the night. Um. And obviously, I was able to do that because I'm in San Francisco. But man, when I tell you the weather was again, the weather has been awful. It's literally until right now. Now is probably the first time Being that it didn't rain. From the right. I am. That is not that it hasn't been raining since I came back to Vegas. So today is Wednesday. I got back to Vegas like Saturday night, late late Saturday night, Sunday morning. And from the time my flight landed in Vegas, it rained from then until I left. So it was, like I said, the weather's just been bad. Like, you know, obviously I don't record and stuff like that because it's not safe. I need all, you know, even just, even now in traffic, I can visually manage everything. But in rain, so many factors come up for me. And I'm like, uh, it's not worth me recording in bad weather. You know, especially dark like that. You know, obviously there's light here, I can see. And, you know, I'm not really going that fast. I was going 14 miles an hour, which now I'm not. But, yeah, like I said, the weather's just been awful. Just, just awful. But where I, where I believe I'm parking today, I believe we're parking right off the pier, I believe, is where the marshalling yard is. We have to go to, for trade shows, you can't just go straight to the convention center. I guess unless they tell you every trade show I've ever done you have to stop at the marshalling yard and check in and number two I don't even deliver until yeesh. I don't even deliver until tomorrow morning anyway all right man everybody can't do this I'm assuming you're gonna do it too last guy figured it out so um let's continue on Uh, yeah, so at the, I believe the marshalling yard for the, this convention center I'm going to, which I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head anyway. Um, it looks like, according uh, looking at the map, the marshalling yard map I was in, it looks like it's right off the pier, which to me, perfect. Because it's not raining, I could probably go out, I should be able to go out and grab dinner and not have to cook on the truck. Well, I don't mind cooking on the truck, that's not really a big deal to me. But, you know, try some local cuisine I'm hoping you know it's only 6 p.m. I got 12 hours until the earliest I can deliver I can, I'm supposed to deliver between uh, 
You want to figure that out? Thank you. Um, I did, the earliest I can deliver is 6 a.m. But I have like 6 a.m. until like 2 p.m. to deliver, I think it is. So I'm like, I can sleep in if I wanted to, but obviously me checking in tonight and spending the night, they are probably gonna call and wake me up first thing in the morning to go ahead and go deliver, so. Oh, actually, I need to get over. I like this little GPS. But uh, let me get out of this traffic and get to where I'm going and then uh, get parked up and hopefully let's see what we can see.